Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's uh, October 1st, Tuesday morning. Uh, grain market's under a little bit of pressure here this morning. Follow through selling uh, with uh, many concerns. The uh, government shutdown creates a lot of uncertainty in traders' minds, and the uh, anybody that has been bullish is, uh, seems to be uh, going to sidelines or reducing their uh, long positions. We also had crop conditions report out yesterday afternoon uh, that kept the corn steady at 50% good to excellent, but the soybeans improved by 3%, going from 50% up to 53% good to excellent. Uh, also, harvest progress a little slower than expected, 12% uh, complete on corn. Uh, versus an average of 23%. Beans, 11% complete versus uh, an average of uh, 20%. Trade was uh, expecting a larger number of, uh, of uh, harvested uh, progress, so uh, looks uh, to be a little bit uh, negative on that uh, accord as well. The uh, expecting uh, any news out of the government today will not happen. Uh, the, the reports are uh, uh, will not be released now until uh, the uh, the government gets back to work. The big question is: Will we get the October 11th report, the WASI report, released? At this point in time, uh, it's expected that we will. However, the length of the uh, shutdown will have an impact, and uh, uh, it's now talk that if we are shut down more than two or three days, that uh, the uh, October 11th report may be in jeopardy. So those are uh, concerns that traders have got this morning in the grains. You compound that with news around the world. Uh, China is off for, from now through October 7th for their Golden Week uh, holiday. Uh, you've also got weather uh, concerns in uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine. They're talking about the heavy rains that they have will uh, slow uh, winter wheat plantings. Uh, South American weather, uh, Argentina has improved somewhat in their uh, wheat growing areas, still a bit dry in the uh, uh, small grain uh, areas. So, uh, uh, and Brazil also is... Uh, has got some uh, continued weather problems there as far as the wheat harvest goes. So uh, we're, we've got some unsettled news around the world that is uh, creating uh, some selling uh, attitude here this morning as well. The dollar is, is weaker, which could uh, provide some underlying support, but it's a, a risk-off type attitude across the commodity sector. We got gold, silver, uh, crude oil down. Stock market has retraced from uh, earlier gains here to be just uh, slightly higher as we speak. So uh, the the overall uh, issue today is uncertainty is creating some selling uh, type attitude. In the uh, meat complex, uh, one question that we've been asked uh, many times is will we continue to, to slaughter at the pace that we uh, currently are? It appears so. Uh, meat uh, inspectors are uh, expected to be on the job. There should be no uh, shutdown there, at, at least uh, under uh, the, uh, the circumstances that, are, uh, that we're looking at uh, currently. The uh, hog... Uh, picture in the futures. Uh, the December contract retraced yesterday off of the uh, news from the pig crop report that uh, the USDA didn't really make any adjustments for PED or for uh, a buildup in uh, breeding herd. So that has caused uh, the uh, hog futures to come under a bit of pressure here. From a technical perspective, uh, December hogs need to hold the area of 85.90 to 86 dollar. Uh, level. If they close below that, you've got a big double top on the charts that could uh, project several dollars lower. So we'll be watching that very closely as we uh, move through the session today and over the next couple of days. Pork cutout values were down four cents yesterday. Choice beef was up 62. Select up 140, 146. The uh, future life, our cattle futures this morning are down. Uh, Slightly here, they've rebounded from earlier losses, but they've got the same concern. Will the shutdown of the government and the, 
the uh, uh, 800,000 employees that are not getting paychecks uh, that uh, work for the government, will that slow down uh, meat consumption and uh, therefore uh, press uh, the uh, cutout values and, and trickle down to the, uh, the live cattle uh, values here, even though we have very tight uh, market-ready supplies. So that's going to be monitored uh, extremely uh, close here and uh, will certainly influence traders' uh, uh, positions as we uh, move forward this week. The feeder cattle index was up uh, 26 cents yesterday, and that closed out at 159.63. So with the volatility that we've uh, uh, seen here and the uncertainty we see today, we do expect more volatility to continue and a reason to stay in touch with Allendale's research. If you got any questions, give us a call, email us. Uh, you can reach us at research at allendale-inc.com or just call us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.